If you are a research student, be it a master's, even an undergrad last year research project, or a PhD student, you are going to want to hear about these resources that I have developed. So around two years ago, I was building my business and I thought, how can I provide templates, so a resource that people are able to use um, independently that allows them to tailor to them, to themselves, so taking their project and not just watching my video and just uh, kind of internalizing that, but actually having something physical that they could work on. And I came up with these resources um, that I have available. I'll leave them all linked down below that you can download. In this bundle, we have the yellow resources. The yellow resource bundle is the research-based bundle. So something that you would be using if you are doing any kind of research-based project or research-based work. And I, you guys have absolutely been loving them. In the last two years, they have been downloaded tens of thousands of times and they've been really, really useful. I've had such amazing feedback. And to be honest, most of them have been developed off of the back of your feedback. So I did one or two in the beginning and then people were saying, what about this? And what about systematic? And what about a literature review? And what about X, Y, and Z? And that's how I ended up developing the individual ones. In today's video, I'm going to be going through the templates that you could download if you are doing a research project. So the first one is um, the research proposal step-by-step -step template and Gantt chart. So this is 12 pounds. Now for 12 pounds, two coffees, I would say in this day and age, for 12 pounds, what you get is a full template for writing a research proposal. Now what I've done is I've thought about let me take a person who has no idea or very minimal idea about writing a research proposal and let me hold their hand and take them through the process. So from for this particular one, what you get is 14 A4 pages. So 14 pages taking you from stage one to the finished line. So stage one is, for example, sorting ideas. So this is where you think about your ideas, like your theoretical basis, your method, previous research, taking you from stage one all the way to the writing stages. Um, you've got a really clear guide. You also have a Gantt chart in Microsoft Word format. So a Gantt chart is something that people tend to not include in their research proposal, but it's a, a Gantt chart is like a timeline. So I've given you a blank Gantt chart, uh, which allows you to fill it in for your own uh, needs. And again, it's something that all comes in together. You don't have to think about it. You just have to input the right information into the template. Um, I also have like an argument map, a brainstorm map, uh, the layout of the structure for your literature review, for example, and that all comes in together. And also within this, you also get a free research timeline as well. So a timeline that allows you to dictate um, what you're going to do maybe in like year one, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and then year two and year three, and that also should be included within your research proposal. So it's amazing to use. I think this is a really good one. There's also a video that you guys have been loving in the last, I think, three or four years I posted it, um, and it just comes in together. There's also a research proposal writing course, which you could find relevant as well. It's a two hour course. It comes with a writing template. It comes with 34 pages of the presentation that you also have access to. And I just think it's really helpful to be able to actually hear someone speak about it. So if you would rather have um, the video and the masterclass, then go ahead and you can get the, the, the course. Or if you want the proposal, just a breakdown of a template, then maybe you'll find that one useful instead. The next template is the PhD Viva chapter summary. Now this one was one of the more recent ones that I developed. Again, a result of having the same questions asked about Vivas and PhDs. So I said, let me develop this. Um, it's 12 pounds. Again, I'm trying to keep it low for you guys, but still making it worthwhile and making and giving you value. So this is for the PhD Viva, which is the defense. Now you could actually also use this for like a master's Viva as well, but I've kept it as PhD because that's the intended use. So what it does is it allows you to think about each chapter in the way that the examiner would think. So there's 10 A4 pages. Um, it comes with general thesis questions, chapter summaries, questions about you and questions about your examiners as well. So I think this is a really powerful way to be able to um, revise 
uh, think about your thesis, answer questions. I've given a really long list of questions that examiners could ask. So for example, I've said, what do your results mean? Is your data really strong enough? How do your findings agree or contradict with the rest of the literature? What are your strengths and weaknesses? Um, how does your thesis compare with what you set out to do? Uh, does the result in X figure surprise you? So I've given you questions that I was asked, commonly asked questions, questions that you could be asked, that you should be prepared for. And this is a really good one, I think. And what you could do after this is once you've done the full completion of this template, I think you, you'll be quite strong in understanding your thesis and knowing what the examiners could ask you. You could book a one-to-one -one session with either myself or one of the consultants from the Page Doctor, and they can go through a mock Viva for you. So you understand it, and then you can send them the template, a completed template, and then they can go ahead and, and ask you questions and then give you feedback at the end as to um, how you kind of, how you did. So that's really helpful. Then the last one that I think you'll find useful is writing a research question. This is a seven step template. It's one of the early ones that I thought about because I was like, hmm, this is something that I think I had to really learn and I think people just won't necessarily know how to do very well. So this is how to write a research question. It goes, it's seven steps, 11 pages in the template from step one all the way to step seven and you have different characteristics. So I've got a task checklist with the nine characteristics of an excellent research question. So things that you need to look for when you're writing and ready to submit. There's also a brainstorm map, there's open-ended questions. There's also a formulation of the hypothesis using the PICO model, P-I-C-O-T model. So all that information is inside this template. So if you are writing a research question and you're thinking about this is the topic that I want to do. This is the gap that I want to fill. I'm not 100% sure how I can formulate this into a question. I think this template will be really helpful for you to be able to do that. Um, so that is the, the third one. And again, once you've used the templates, you probably want some support um, just to kind of make sure that you're on the right track, even though this is essentially holding your hand. But you might think, I want some support. So feel free to book a one-to-one -one session with a page doctor consultant and they will you can either book someone who is finished has finished their PhD so they are postdoc or someone who is in their PhD program at the moment um, so you're able to book a session with them go through your requirements go through the research question they can look at the notes from the template make sure that what you've written makes sense make sure that it's valid make sure that it's clear and yeah, then you're all done. So it's a lovely, lovely way of supporting you in a tailored way that my videos can't necessarily do. And then part of the orange bundle, I also think you'll probably find it helpful if you're doing a research project. So the three, the three in the orange bundle are the academic CV template. It's only two pounds fifty, and it allows you to have a blank template that you can just put information in. So it's just super simple. There's nothing complex about it, but it just gives you a blank template. Then you have the poster. So the poster one is the one that I like in particular. So when I was doing um, my poster and I was making my posters for my, during my PhD and for my research, I really struggled on structure and I moved things around quite a lot. Um, or I would like copy other people's structure, look at what other people are doing. And I spent a lot of time just getting the structure right. So this poster template is again, only 10 pounds, save you hours and hours of work. And it also comes with a tutorial. So that's like the bonus. There's a walkthrough tutorial that I have recorded within the template. Um, there's editable color options. So I think I've given like six different color options, but you, I, th I believe you can change it anyway. And when you download it, what you get is a poster that's the correct academic size. You can change that as well, because of course, not all posters are required to be the same size, but I have um, I put the basic there and you can change that by yourself. Um, it has all the required details. So like the author acknowledgements, references, you can add the graphs and figures where you're required. Um, and it just allows you to structure your poster in a more appealing way. Oh yeah, and also there's portrait and landscape versions that you can use. It's just a very much like download, use right now. There isn't any thinking that you need to do. 
you don't have to go ahead and like try to figure things out and measure you just download and you use so it's perfect um and then last but not least, you have the personal statements writing template. I've included this in this video because I feel like you might want to use it if you're applying for, if you're watching this in your master's and you're applying for a PhD, you might want to use it. But it's essentially a, a helpful template for writing a personal statement, which will take you from um, kind of the introduction, opening, why you're writing the course, uh, before you write, whilst you're writing, the overall structure and things like that um, and again I think you'll find this really helpful as someone who is just needing that extra bit of hand hand holding and extra bit of support that will take you from just being like a little bit mind blocked and a little bit like stuck to having at least a, a, a very decent good first draft. So if you liked any of the templates that I mentioned in this video I'll leave them all linked down below and uh, like I said they're all paid this is my job, this is my business, I've worked for many years and many weeks to make templates, so I think it's only fair that it is sold to you. It has been downloaded by thousands and thousands of students um, and it provides value that you would save hours and hours and weeks of struggling. It's £10 or £12, it isn't a huge amount. Let me know if you need any other templates or you want me to develop anything else that you think will be helpful to help you with your academic uh, studies. And I hope to see you in my next video. Okay, bye.